Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And on the hill, the big righty, James Caprillion. What do we have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And first offering is fouled off. Caprillion, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Righty to the plate. And ball one. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Next offering upstairs. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to... And down on strikes he goes, and that's the first out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. Gio oh, Urshela at the plate now. That's ball one. Oh, no. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And that one fouled off. Bounce to the right. And he handles it himself for the out. That is her. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Mike Trout stands in now and watches strike one. Next one offering one. way off the plate. You know, singing in 2022, Trout hit homers in seven straight games, falling just one home run shy of the record, eight in a row by Ken Griffey Jr., Don Mattingly, and Dale Long. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Angels are gone in order. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Oakland, pitching in our game today, Tyler Anderson. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first. And now, Jace Peterson. And the pitch. 
Anderson an all-star a season ago he features a four-seam fastball a changeup, a cutter a sinker and he occasionally uses a curve Anderson ready to work and it's fouled away Going oh, two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. In the air, right field. Renfro in position. He makes the grab, and there's one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. One ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. No, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And here it comes. The punch out there, two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. In there, and it's 0 1. No ball, one strike. And that clips the inside corner. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. And the A's are gone in order. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, here's Shohei Otani. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And first offering is fouled off. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well look out because the sky's the limit on that potential on the ground right side the throw to first and quickly one away in the second that is good. The right fielder, number 12, hunter. now it's hunter renfro the outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap That one's in there, 0 and 1. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. And now one the more. count is even. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. But why the kick the pitch? 
And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Payoff pitch. Yeah, there's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Yeah, the batter now. Taylor Ward in there for strike one. Rip towards third. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. The pitch. Just no, missed. That's, that's where you want it. It's a good miss. One ball, no strike. Next ball. pitch is outside. Two ball, no strike. And now the lefty. Not the best swing that Two time ball. from the first One round strike. pick. And he deals. Ah. And that one is in for a strike. Oh. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. And first offering is fouled off. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. You'll want. And that's in for a strike. Off the mark there. Now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. In the air, left field. Ward drifts towards it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing there for the A's. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's going to be Jared Walsh. Jared Caprillion back to work. 
Walsh handling the duties at first. 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. And the first offering is not close. Walsh gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes. And there's a the ball. And a four-pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Max Stassi comes up to hit. First offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is fouled back. Nice and now two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. the count two and one no, inside outside. just missed first and second here no outs and that's, that's ball four well the stage has been set for this offense boo it's all about creating opportunities and this is one of them right here here's David Fletcher let off the game with a strikeout First pitch, and he just misses. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Next offering is in for a strike. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one the other way, and a base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Runner held at third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Didn't exactly throw the baseball there, but he stayed on it, and he stayed through it well enough to punch it the other way for the base hit. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Here's Gio Urshela. He's over one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just missed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. 
next oh. offering upstairs. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. That misses the zone. And now three and one. And a foul ball. Base is juiced. No outs. That is ball four. And that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. The setting's definitely getting away from him. And now batting Mike Trout. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Bases loaded, nobody out. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Now all even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. And we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Otani, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Next offering away upstairs. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. is in for a strike. One out, base is full. That one in for a strike, two and two. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Swings and misses, struck him out. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Form and they jump ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Angels two and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay as we go to the last of the third. Here's Manny Pena. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 
and a pitch. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on that one. What a way. Batting eight. The designated hitter. Next up for the A's, Jordan Diaz. Diaz in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. The next offering misses. Ball two. The wind and the pitch. There's a strike. In the air, right field. Renfro getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Batting nine. The center field. Two outs, bases empty. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Lawrence Butler. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Foul ball. Butler goes six feet, three inches, 210 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2018. The next Ball pitch one. misses, and the count even one and one. one, one. That's in there. Ah. Got him looking. And that is the third out of the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail things here, two nothing. Back in Oakland, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Taylor Ward. Ward. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss there. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. That one hops against the fence. And he's got a double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. there and it's 0-1. Righty delivers. 1-1. One, one. And a count one and two. Ward leads off second with nobody out. Fouls it off, still one and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And a one two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Down, 
Man at second. And no. that just misses. No outs. Runner on second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering misses, and now three and two. Yeah, the right-hander deals, and he walked him. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That one's in there, 0-1. Anthony Rendon, an outstanding player in college. He went to Rice, the sixth overall pick by the Nationals in the 2011 draft. Runners on the move. In the air, right side. Loriano pulls that one down, and there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out. And next for L.A., Max Stassi worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Hogan Harris getting loose out there. Number 38 getting cranked up as well. Runners at first and second with one gone. Oh, and two now. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And the next pitch is way outside. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses. Three and two now. One out. Runners at first and second. Three and two now. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags at second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Gets a piece. It stays alive. The pitch. Oh. One, two. Oh. 
Check swing, appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. No runs, a hit, two left. We're midway in the fourth. Angels two and the A's nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. Now the third baseman, Jace Peterson. And a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. That's down and in. One ball, one strike. The one one. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Fly ball to right. Renfro in position. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Tony Kemp. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Hammer down the right side, but foul. The pitch. One, two. The A's still looking for their first hit in this one. In the air, out towards right center. Trout is there. Two down. Number 80, number 99. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. And the oh. first pitch misses for ball one. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ball game. Here's a 1-1. Well, this hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and fires. And now it's three and two. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Let's go, three to go, baby. Let's go. Liner, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Throw that ball nicely. He put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double.
Digging in for Oakland, Brent Rooker caught looking his first time up. And there's a foul ball. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Check swing, no, no appeal, and that's ball one, one. one. Almost got him to commit, but he held back. Two outs and one in scoring position. Here's a one-two. Bounce to the right side, into the outfield, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Oledmis Diaz now. First off, bring it just misses. One ball, no strike. Aguilar at third. Rooker on at first with two down. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Next pitch way upstairs. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Two outs. Bounce to third. And that's just foul. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Rendon makes the play. And that is that. A strand a couple. They trail it here 2-0. comes on now and yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut no one on base yeah you're already going to be a little nervous out there so i think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases georgella steps in and here it comes Ball one there. You know, these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've already earned five walks in the game, and of course, that's providing them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. Next offering is in for a strike. That one misses in the dirt. And he deals. This one in the air right field. And puts the squeeze on that. And yeah, there's one away. The center fielder, number 27, Mike. Here's Trout. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track.
Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. There's the strike. That's out to center field. Butler sizing this one up. Grabs it on the run. That's out number two. Up next for the Angels, the designated hitter, Shohei. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good oh, eye right good. there. Next oh. pitch is outside. Good plate oh, appearance good. there. Able to take the walk. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or were we the supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just okay. our presence Renfro. is the present. So, man aboard. And now the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Let's go, Renfro tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. The pitch. Now one ball. and one. One ball, one strike. Get out of here, Angel. Yeah, that one. skips in the dirt. Fly ball down the line. And it drops into the corner. Oh, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard, had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So over to first, and he saved. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it the string with the changeup struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Ramon Laureano. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these A's doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is. But so far, he's been really effective in this one. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Come on, Ramon. Next oh. offering is downstairs. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. up the oh that got him 
He can't flip it to the pitcher in time, and they don't get the out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Runner at first. And now the catcher comes up to him. Manny Pena. Yep. And that's in there for strike one. Let's go, Grounder might be two. Over to Fletcher. And it's a double play. Space is empty. Jordan Diaz up next for the A's. First yeah. pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. And that one wrapped foul. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Towards first, Walsh handles, takes it himself, and that is that. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. And a pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right no, there. No, that front no, shoulder no, coming open instead no, of staying no, closed. No. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Walsh up for the third time and takes ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Domingo Acevedo getting ready to go. Next one is off the play. Two and oh. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Three 0 down. And yeah, there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Rudder takes off. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. see he was out front just a little bit maybe didn't recognize the change up earlier but he got the bat head to it hooked it down the line and 
was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Stepping in, Max Stassi. First offering, misses the ball. Here comes a pitch. Snags it for the second out. Now batting, shortstop, David. So the Fletcher. lineup flips over. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. In there for strike one. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, he finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Going to count one and two. Got him swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But two come across to score in the inning. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here's a speed threat. Lawrence Butler. And there's one thing on his mind, this and that. Get that first hit at the big league level. Anderson back to work. Just missed. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And now oh, two and two. Oh. Next one just misses. Full count three and two. Two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Now it's Chase Peterson. Lead off man on. It's time to play a little small ball. Get some base runners. Try to dig yourself out of the hole. Chase went to the first pitch, looked down to third, didn't go. Next one misses, now 2-0. Oh. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Snap throw to first, and he's back in there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Two oh. Swings through that one for strike one. There's a strike. Butler gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Kemp 
Batting with one down, takes a strike. Check on the runner, Butler, back on a dive. To third, might be two. There's one, double play. They can't seem to break through, inning over. Three up, three down that time. We're through six full. Angels four, and the A's nothing. Going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for the Angels, Gio Urshela. The Y to kick the pitch. That misses. One and oh. One ball, no strike. Go in! Come on, Oakland! Fastball okay. almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. The 2-0 is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next pitch misses outside. Three and one. Kicks and fires. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Come on, Oakland! Foul ball left side. He'll see another. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And here it comes. Swing and a base hit. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Here's Mike Trout. Not in time. He's safe. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Runner at second. Nobody out. The next oh. offering misses. And the count Come is 2-0. And a pitch. And downstairs. No strike. And now the lefty. There's a strike. On the ground to third. Slides, but he can't come up with it. And that rolls into the corner. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Number 38 taking over on the mound. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Shohei Otani, the next to hit for the Angels. 
First pitch, not close. Good eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Rooker racing over to make the catch. The white field of the play. Renfro. Now it's Hunter Renfro. There and it's own one. And fouled off. The O2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This to third, and that should be extra bases. Here comes Trout, flying around third. Throws to second, he pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Runner at second. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Run comes in from second. It's seven to nothing. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Back to back base hits. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. One down. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. That one's in there, 0 1. No ball. One strike. Ward, the runner at second with one away. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Taps softly to the right side. Over to Aguilar. Walsh retired. Now that second base, Anthony. Now it's Anthony Rendon. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond, and the inning is over. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left off. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Angels seven and the A's nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. The wind and the pitch. That misses. Ball one. to the pitch swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play here's a one two that one to first can't field it cleanly 
Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. And that's in there for strike one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Stays alive. Got him swinging. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands now back long it. enough Good and stop. played right oh, into the Diaz. hands of the pitcher. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Pitch ball misses one. inside, and that's ball one. Three and there's a the strike. Two outs. Good eye ball. in that spot. Fouls one off, two and two. Two down, nobody on. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And one, two, three go the A's. Not going their way. It's seven, nothing. And welcome back. And now, Max Stassi. The catcher, Max Stassi. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Fought off foul. Popped up right side. Kemp makes the catch. One down. Up next for the Angels, the shortstop, David Fletcher. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. First pitch just misses. There's a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Rooker settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two outs. Now batter. Gio. Gio Urshela to the plate. Woo! 
And the first ball pitch one. misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up oh. a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Lined, and that's a base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So two down. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. In there for strike one. And that one missing low. Urshela leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. That one fouled off two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Aguilar makes the catch, and that'll do it. So one hit is all they get. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels seven and the A's nothing. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. The wind of the pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground. There to beat him by an eyelash. Now batting, catcher. Manny Pena digs in now. And that one pulled foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Jose Quijada, the left-hander, up and throwing. Berea, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Next Ball. offering in the dirt. Ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Him looking for the K. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. A book in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose with the bat. Jordan Diaz up next for the A's. In there in its own one. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And the A's are gone in order. They continue to trail 7-0. Back here in the East Bay. Now it's the power-speed combo. Shohei Otani. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The pitch. And it's fouled away.
and it's one and one. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. The pitch. Popped up. Peterson sizes this one up. One up, one down. The right fielder, number 12. Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro, the next to hit for the Angels. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and an 0-0 count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there are two down. Up next for the angel, the left fielder. So Taylor. up next, Taylor Ward. Ward. First oh. pitch, and he just misses. And that's oh. outside. Two balls, no strike. And there's the strike. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Next offering misses, and the count is 3-1. and one. Slapped foul. Ripped on a line. And that is that. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Jose Quijada. And, and you know, bullpen right, guys can struggle you. sometimes when they're called now, upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. Jose. So we'll see how Quijada. sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. The pitch. Butler, oh. the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ryan Tapera appears to be getting loose. Left-hand batter waits. And another ball. And that one oh, off the ball. outside edge. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. In for a strike, now three and one. Swing and a miss, three and two now. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Now we're talking. The third base is Lawrence Butler, Butler with his first yeah, yeah. major league hit. And this Jesus, is a moment man. I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Next up for the A's, Jace Peterson. And 
First offering is fouled off. Quijada goes 5 feet 11 inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And a pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tony Kemp. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. And the 2 Fights it off. He'll see another. The 2 Gets a piece and stays alive. Owen oh, Chu now. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels even this series up at a game apiece. We saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout. And then the pitching staff nails. Locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.